Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please take this moment to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that notification bell. That way you know every time I upload a new video. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That way you don't forget at the end. Because sometimes I can forget. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. At the end or in the middle, if you decide you don't like it, you can always change it to a thumbs down. That's fine. So today, guys, is just a uh, little uh, haul. It's a collective haul from uh, many different places. I've got Sephora. I've got Ulta. I've got Beautylish. I have got Beauty Bay. I've got just some online orders from um, certain makeup brands. So I thought I would just go ahead and show you everything that I've been picking up here lately. So, I've got everything in this box. It's a pretty little heavy box. Let me make sure I'm not going to show my address. So, this is the box. And I've got so it's a couple of things that's not going to fit in the box. So, I'm going to start with those first. So, from Beauty Bay, I picked up the uh, Age of Opulence palette. Because it was so beautiful. Those colors just really got me. And I was shocked at the outer carton at how thick it is. Um, but then when you open it up, you got your palette inside wrapped in bubble wrap. So I thought that was very good. And of course, this is what the palette looks like. And then when you open up the inside, this is the color story. And it is gorgeous. I cannot wait to get my grubby little paws on this thing. So, I picked that up. I also picked up another palette from um, Simply Posh Cosmetics. It's the Autumn Leaves palette. And this is what she looks like. I have put my fingers in it and swatched a few colors, but I just thought that was a gorgeous color story. They're all shimmers, so of course this will be one that I will add to another palette, but I'm so glad to have this one. So I picked that up. I can't get it back in the sleeve. There we go. I also picked up Wayne Goss's new palette. This is my first product from Wayne Goss, but this palette just spoke to me so much. The outer packaging is that black acrylic, kind of like what Pat McGrath does. And then when you open it up, if you can, this is what the palette looks like. It is so pretty, and for fall, this is just so perfect. So I cannot wait to try that out. Then I also picked up, let's see, I'm getting all these samples out of here. I did get a sample of the Kosas um, powder, and um, I did swatch this on the back of my hand, and I can tell you already that I want a full size of this powder because it blurs like nobody's business. Um, the little sample is quite nice, and it'll probably take me a hot minute to get through the sample, but um, if you've not tried this powder, man... It blurs everything out on the back of my hand when I put it on there. I got mine in the color Breezy. So I'm really excited to have that. I also picked up this um, primer from Stravectin. It's the Anti-Wrinkle Line Blur Perfector Instant Wrinkle Blurring Primer. So, I'm excited to try that. Another sample. <laughs> I also picked up a couple of things from uh, Shein. And this little sponge is one of them. It's so cute. Um, I also went back. Um, I had a 20% off coupon at Ulta. And I was so upset with myself that I did not pick this color up at the 21 Days of Beauty. But it's the Cover FX multi-chrome blushes, and this one is in Spiced Cinnamon. I just loved that color, so I had to go back and pick that up, and I did because 
fall and all the fall colors. I also picked up, it's not in the box because I've been using it, from the Sephora collection. This is the Lash Fuse and Curl. And it looks, this is the box. Where's it at? Where's it at? I just used it. There it is. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a lash curler. But what this does is it goes on and allows you to fuse your false lashes to your real lashes. So I was really excited to have that, and I have been enjoying it so far. And it does come with extra um, things at the bottom. So there is that. I also picked up the new NARS blush palette. I was super excited to get this. <clears throat> I love this packaging, this bondage like. This is high profile cheek palette. I don't know why I'm having trouble opening all of these palettes. But you get five blushes and one highlighter. And I'm telling you, this shade right here is what made me want the palette, to be quite honest. But this is everything my fall dreams have been dreaming of. So I was super excited to get that. And also from that collection, I picked up one of their small eyeshadow palettes. And this one is in, I think, Orgasm. Yes, it's in Orgasm. And the reason I got this color story was the other one was one that was similar to the Wayne Goss. And another one was a purple palette. And I've just purchased some purple palettes. So... I didn't need that the other one, the other two, so I picked this one up in Orgasm, and it is quite tiny, I have to say, but I cannot wait to use that. Then I also, for some reason, went lip crazy. I kept telling myself, I guess, that I didn't have enough fall colors, and um, that was a damn lie, but anyway, <laughs> I went ahead and started picking up um a lot of lips but i also got this uh rare beauty mascara trial size so i'm excited for that i also picked up the brow micro uh filling pen from benefit i hadn't tried that so i got that got a couple more perfume samples when it comes to the samples at Sephora, perfume is usually where I go if they're on there. That's how I try new scents. And I have found some favorites by doing that. So let's see. Okay, I also picked up a blush from Glowish. I got mine in Healthy Peach. Blushes and lip products, I feel, have been what I've been going for lately, and I don't know why. But this looks just like um, the bronzer packaging, if you guys got the bronzer from Glowish. I don't know why. I've got to smell everything. But that's the color that I got. So pretty. It's just a very light peach color. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> part of this Sephora stuff was part of the friends and family. Let's see. I also got two lipsticks on that friends and family. And they are the Makeup by Mario. I got Briella and Raja. Ra Raza, Raja. So this is Briella. Look how pretty that is. Mm. And then this is Raja. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. It's 
come on. I don't know why some of these boxes just make you rip them before you can get them open. And that one right there is Raja. So pretty. You guys know the colors that I typically lean towards pinkish, pinkish esque. Then I got this new foundation from Joa. Um, it's the Primedation All in One Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid, Collagen, and Crystal Peptide. So you're not uh, supposed to need a primer with this. So, I was very intrigued, and they were running uh, some kind of special with a certain code that you put in. It was only $4, so that's what it looks like. I got mine in the shade PLN040. Light with neutral undertones. So then I also picked up another foundation because, you know, y'all just see my foundation decluttered. Like, I don't have enough. But this is one that I've been wanting to get for a while, and it's been sold out on Ulta. Um, you couldn't get it hardly anywhere, and I ended up, Catrice, when you go to their website, they have it. But it's the True Skin Foundation. I got mine in the shade Neutral Ivory. Then... These two lipsticks I got <clears throat> the day that we heard about Mel Thompson's passing. And I really felt like I really needed to get this lipstick. So I went to Christian Audette and I got the Puffin lipstick. Um, which was Mel's lipstick with Christian Audette. I think she's had a couple, but this was the one that was still on the site. And it's a very beautiful um, orange color. I think it's more for summer than fall. But I just wanted it because. And that's the color right there. I don't know that I'll ever even wear this. But I just, I wanted it. And then along with that one, I also picked up um, another color. And it was... in the shade company card it was that right there i know a lot of my lip colors look the same don't they i like what i like okay and then i picked up <laughs> this is so crazy that I picked up all these lips. Ah, one, two, three, four, five more lips. So, this one is L'Oreal. I thought the packaging was gorgeous. It looks very high-end and luxe. The bullet is gorgeous. I got 171 New Confident. And I want y'all to look at the bullet on this. The detail. It's just so beautiful. And I'll give a swatch of it. It's probably going to match everything else. It's that one right there. That one and that one are very similar. So I picked that up. Then from Makeup Revolution, I got a um, Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon. In the color icon I have to say that on the website this looked orangey but it's very pink when you get it for real so which I mean I'll wear that it's right up my alley but that's not what I was thinking it was and I got the lipstick in the same color as well again I thought I was getting an orange color but that's okay. I think I only paid like three something for those. Then from L'Oreal, I got the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candyman. Britt Clark talked me into this one. 
it's like a purplish color right there it is so pretty and last but not least i picked up a kkw um lipstick in the shade pink number four And it looks like that right there. Lots and lots of lipstick. I need to stop with that. Then I picked up my birthday gift from Sephora because my birthday is the 28th of October. So I just picked up the NARS little set. It's got Laguna lip balm and bronzer and then i also picked up from moogler the alien um perfume which i have to say i'm shocked i don't like i do not like it um i figured i would judging by the notes but um there's something in there that i don't like i mean it doesn't stink it's just not my journey. <laughs> so, that's all that I picked up in this multiple haul. I have picked up a few other things here and there that I just didn't put in this um, haul. Like the um, Lunar Beauty palette, the um, Pat McGrath palette. A few, a few palettes that I picked up that I didn't put in here just because... I've done showcase them a little bit on Instagram and things like that. So, I didn't show it. But, um, I'm going to be slowing down my purchasing here through the rest of the year. And only getting things that really, really, really grab my attention. Like this morning, I passed up on that Lethal, um, called the Lethal Cosmetics palette that came out. I wanted it, but I did not get it because I just need to slow down for the rest of the year um, and use the things that I'm backlogged with. I also wanted the um, new Alien Cosmetics palette, but I'm not getting that. So I'm just letting some things slide by for, for now because I need to focus on using what I have currently. So... But that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little haul. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, I love you guys and God bless.